control and coordination in the previous chapter we have discussed about various life processes in that how living organisms are obtaining their food and how living organisms are utilizing their food to get energy and how various life processes are involved in producing energy to the living cells for their maintenance and for their survival that is for the existence of the living organisms various processes are carried out at the cellular level to make or to keep the cell alive that is to make the living organism stay alive so here living organisms we quite often use this term living organisms living organisms and this is what we are discussing about in this biology all about the living organisms so even in class 10th in grade 10th also the first lesson life processes you have learned about the various processes reactions that takes place in the living organisms here we are calling them as living organisms that means that they have life how do we say that these particular objects are living organisms and these objects are non living organisms on basing which criteria you decide we have been learning this since your grade 3 or grade 4 living organisms reproduce living organisms breathe living organisms grow living organisms they increase in their height they reproduce they breathe they eat so this way there are so many characters living organisms respond to the stimuli so in this way on basing various criteria various uh, characteristics we say a specific thing is a living all living things may not show all the characteristics what we are discussing here in this lesson there is a connection between one of the characteristic the most important characteristic shown by a living organism that is the movement movement so we think that if any organism or any object is moving that it has got life yes it has got life so it is moving the object may move in the place where it is standing or it may move from one place to another place so that is locomotion moving from one place to another place or the organism or the object is at the same place and still it is moving but the movement we consider it as a characteristic of life living organisms move do all living organisms move yes all the living organisms they have movements in them even at the cellular level but there are some differences if you see the plants and animals so if you see here the movement you can just imagine if we are talking about the movement of living organisms you may imagine a dog running a cat chasing a rat a boy playing children are playing in the ground children are running you are playing in the playground you are throwing something there so all these are the various kinds of movements you just you imagine but all these examples are of animals do plants move plants may not move from one place to another place but still they show some kind of movement in their body parts so there are some differences between the plants and animals in which in what kind of movements they show plants they show their movements in their body parts especially plants show the movements as a part of their growth so here the movements in plants are associated with movements are associated with growth in plants if you like this video Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.